David, great Hi. to have you today at this show. Hi Tara, thank you very much. All right, okay. So we want to talk about uh, Aparte and the solutions that you bring to the telecoms market. So first off, um, do you want to like explain um, your suite of solutions and how it helps telcos? Yeah, sure. So what I what we always say is we're building an army of bots. And okay. we use military language quite a lot because we do think we're in a bit of a global war against scam. Okay. So the use case for our technology is really to prevent, disrupt and provide intelligence around scams and frauds globally. And we do that with telcos by essentially putting these thousands of different bots, these AI bots, out into the firing line of scammers. We proactively get them to engage with scammers over voice calls. And what these bots do is they, they sound exactly like me or you. Mm -hmm. They're convincing to the scammer that it's a real victim. So the scammer right. thinks they're talking to a real victim. But really what we're trying to do is we're extracting a lot of the intelligence around the scam that's happening. Their tactics, their techniques, their procedures, mm -hmm. the bank accounts they're using, crypto wallets they're using, all of the infrastructure that they, run, that they use to run their fraud. Mm -hmm. And then we provide that intelligence back to our telco partners, but also to banks and governments and uh, regulators too. All right, okay. So the Gen AI part or the AI part, where does it come in, in, into place? Does it come at the point where you create those bots to, um, you know, with some degree of conversational intelligence so they can sound really human. Is that where the, the, the AI portion comes in? Exactly right. So we have a library of thousands of different bots, okay. different ages, different genders. They speak different languages. They have different slang. Some bots are aggressive. Oh. Other bots are very, very timid oh. and, they're, and they're very, very shy and they don't really want to give away any information. They're, they think, oh, I'm not sure about this. Maybe right. I need to okay. ask my okay. mom or maybe I need to ask my dad. Okay. And then essentially what happens is all of the bots have conversational context around the particular scam. Mm -hmm. They've been trained on scam calls and scam data. Mm -hmm. But not only that, they have something what we call a shared mon mental model. So okay. they understand what's happening throughout the bot network. All right, and they're okay. essentially competing against each other to get the best outcome out of the call. Wow. So how do you guys create these bots? Like, how do you guys train these bots to be so, um, so intelligent? Do you basically record from real people uh, and then you model upon that or do you actually program everything bit by bit to create that level of intelligence? So I think one of the beautiful things about generative AI and, and reinforcement learning is that the longer that our bots are out there in the wild, the more that they're learning about the scam typologies, the scam tactics. Okay, okay. And the more data that we're ingesting, then the better we can train our models to understand exactly what kind of scams we're combating against. Mm -hmm. But this is something that we have spent years developing. Um, so initially, this was a project that started at a university in Sydney called Macquarie University. My right. co-founder is a professor of cybersecurity okay. there. All right. okay. And we spent years and years developing this product. So yeah, it's really gotten to a stage where it's commercially really, really a, a solid product. Yeah, okay. How long does it take for you to um, customize? Say you want to bring the solution from one region or one market to another. How long would it take to customize to that particular region? Because obviously the scammers would know, right? That uh, these people that we are dealing with are speaking certain lingo and reacting certain way because they come from a certain region. And then if they want to scam people from another region, they would actually be able to identify. So do you customize that those bots to now reflect the tendencies from you know, a new region where you are bringing the solution to? Definitely we do, and it's easier than you think. So the infrastructure that we've built is pretty much lift and shift. We can take it from one region to another region. All right, okay. All of the way we deploy, we can deploy in a cloud native sense and we're cloud agnostic, so we can deploy in different clouds. We can do on-premise or hybrid as well. Um, but essentially, when it comes to new languages, uh, that's very easy for us to do. We do spend a little bit of time localizing the language. All right, so okay. making sure that the slang sounds correct, make, making sure that the bots sound like, like real victims as well. So yeah, it's a very, very easy thing for us to do. Wow, this is really amazing, you know, and it's really interesting, especially like I think all of us in, at some point in our lives, or, so, or maybe sometimes on even weekly basis, monthly basis, we do get, you know, calls from scammers and we are like, sometimes it throws you into a rage. Like, you know, these guys come in at a time where you're already like, you know, trying to see whether this is legit or this is not. And you really would like the operators or the ISPs to have such solutions where they can identify. And, and you know, they have the intelligence needed to identify these kind of scams. That's so right. maybe you can take us through the, you know, the, the solution. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Sure. So That's let's good. do that. 
Okay, so here's a few of our bots in action, as we call them. So as I said, different ages, different genders, different personas, they use different lingo, and they adapt to the specific scan type. So we have lots of these. These are all of our different personas. I'll stop on one of our personas, which is an Australian persona. Mm -hmm. This is a particular scam, which is a very, very common scam, which is a merchant scam. In the case, this is an Amazon scam. So what the scammer is doing is they're trying to say, we found a fraudulent transaction on your account mm -hmm. and we need to clear this transaction to make sure that you don't get charged. My name is Dayton. How are you today? Hi, I'm doing okay, thanks. Um, sorry, where are you calling from again? This is Dayton from Amazon's fraud department, sir. And the reason for my call today is that we flagged some suspicious activity on your Amazon account. I would like to verify with you whether you have you authorized a purchase of $999.98 for a MacBook Pro to be delivered to an address in San Diego, California, sir? sir? Be for real, mate. I'm in Sydney, not bloody California. I mean, no. I definitely didn't buy anything like that. Are you serious here? Yes, sir. I know this may sound scary, but <laughs> I assure you this is serious and that's why I'm calling, sir. So in this particular case, he's saying, did you purchase a MacBook to be ordered to San Diego, California. And the bot says, no way, oh my God, bloody hell, I've never heard of that. I don't know what's going on here. You sure this is right? And you can see that this is a snippet from a 14 minute call. So we're keeping scammers on the line for a long time. We're soaking up their time and resource. So that every minute that a scammer is talking to our bot means it's a minute that they can't be scamming a rear victim. But then, as I said, at the same time, we're extracting the intelligence so we know exactly what this scam is about. It's an Amazon security op scam, it's a fraud. We know what they're saying the person purchased, which is this MacBook for $999. We know that they're trying to extract the credit card details from this particular person. And so there's a lot of intelligence that we're starting to get from this just, just beyond uh, you know, wasting the time and the resources in the scammers. Oh, so that, that was really amazing. You know, a, a very simple solution. And yet, like what you said, um, it can train, it can hold the person, the scammer, and then from there, try to um, elicit as much information as it, as, it, as it requires, you know, to build the intelligence that's needed. Yeah, so we, we want to know about deployment of this. So have you guys deployed the solution? And if yes, you know, who are your partners or, you know, the, the markets that you have uh, deployed this? Yeah, definitely. So Australia is our home market. We're an Australian company. Uh, so we've deployed with a couple of telcos in Australia, one of them being TPG Telcom. Okay. They own the Vodafone brand in Australia. We're also working with some banks in the region, like Commonwealth Bank of Australia, which is the biggest bank in the region. So banking and telco partners is a, is a lot of the work that we start to do. Uh, we've got two deployments in the UK that we're gearing up for at the moment. And all then right. we're also looking at a deployment here in Southeast Asia. Uh, okay. So there are deployments happening in all parts of the world. And I think this is a global problem that, yes, that really needs it a global is. solution. Yeah, it needs a global solution. And you guys have already gotten a head start in Australia. And it's good to, you know, bring this the same technology to other regions exactly okay wow sounds exciting and you know it's really great uh, to learn about your solution and all the best thank you so much thanks Tara